Guys, I'm, I'm making this for a friend of mine. I'm making it for her mom, and I thought I would show you how I do my distressing. thought maybe some of you guys might be interested in that. So I've got this here, and um, basically what I do, I have a, a texture over here. I make it bright green. I copy it, and I paste it over here. Now, this is kind of heavy. I don't really like it that much. That's too heavy. Um, so I'm going to take a, an eraser with a brush or a pencil mode here, and I am going to start taking out some of this green here, um, just so that it's not as heavy. And I'm really only worried about the colored areas because the, uh, everything else is going to be taken away. So I'm just kind of dragging over these color areas here and getting rid of some of that green, maybe get rid of some of that chunk here. All right, now all I do is I have my background selected so I can take this off. I can hit all, I'm gonna copy, I'm copying merged. My computer's gonna freak out because I'm recording. Copy merged and I'm gonna come back here, turn it on. I'm going to hit paste. All right, now I'm going to get rid of everything else. Got my image down here. Move it up to where I want it, which would be right around here. And I'm just going to select a green. Similar, I've got my tolerance up here to around 30. And I'm just going to hit delete. And... I have a distressed shirt. So hopefully that helps. If you don't like the way that it comes out, you can always uh, just go back and um, like this, I can go through here again and I can hit similar. So I'm again, I'm selecting all the green and I can still come through here and with an eraser set on pencil, I can still just take out some of this stuff again. So I don't want it to be too heavily distressed. So take a see, look and see what that is. Uh, oh, I wasn't on my green. You get the idea. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So I can select my green. Or I can go all the way back and put the layers back on the way I want, like this. And then I can redo the green here as well. So maybe I will take a different brush. This is all a lot easier when you just get one of these the way that you like it. But sometimes I like heavier textures. Sometimes I don't. So I'm going to come over here. Let's grab another crazy brush. Um, okay, here we go. I'll make this a little bit bigger so it's random. All right, and I'll do it again. I'm gonna select all. Here, I'll do it up here so you guys can see. Edit. Uh, my computer's bugging out. Um, I have everything selected. I'm going to copy merged. And I'm going to paste. I always like to bring it up to the top. Turn everything else off. And select my magic wand. Come over here similar and I'm going to delete there we go distressed image all right I hope that helps um, you know most of you guys probably already know how to do that but just in case you don't and what I'll do now is I'll go through here and just clean up the edges with a normal block um, I must have had my tolerances set wrong because normally that doesn't show up in there so um, that is how you distress 
an image in Photoshop. Oh. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Bye.